Here we go. Segment two, we're going to get into now, it, it, as we mentioned, it is Super Bowl week, which means it's prop betting season. It is the game with the most prop bets placed throughout the entire single year. And we happen to be doing this on behalf of Caesar Sportsbook. We're yeah. in this wonderful location, uh, courtesy of them. And they gave me a great cheat. I know you don't need the cheat sheet. No, right? I, I, I like it. Side note, my son made this. So there you go. Oh, That's his right. graphic work. Yeah, made yeah, that. A little shout out, Chappy, on Football Insiders. Um, all right, so... I'm not going to deal with the coin toss because I think that's... Although it's where the most money is. It's, it's, where, the most it's where the most money is okay. everywhere. So every talk year. about that for a second. Yeah, okay. literally the biggest bet of the Super Bowl happens before the game starts. Yeah. Literally, more money is wagered on heads versus tails than any other prop bet in the Super Bowl. And it's weird because it's 50-50 and, you know, there's no real big payout. That's the that's <laughs> There's the no thing. big payout. It's not even plus no, odds. It's yeah. minus 101 on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but okay, so there, there's your coin toss prop analysis from us. Uh, that's the best you're gonna get. Let's talk about the passing prop. I wanna- Can I throw in one thing real quick before we do anything else? You don't have to ask, just do. Well, like prop bets started at Super Bowl 20 in 1986. When Caesars, right? yeah, the, the first official prop bet happened when Caesars Palace put odds uh, at Super Bowl 20 that the fridge, William Refrigerator Perry, would score an offensive touchdown as a defensive player. It started at 20 to 1, and the money came in so much on the fridge getting it done that the odds fell to 2 to 1. Stop. And of course, in the third quarter, he, he, he came through. Yeah. So ever since then, every year, Caesars Palace, and now Caesars Sportsbook on the app, has put the original odds of 20 to 1 for any defensive player to score an offensive touchdown. Oh. Only one other person has done it. Who's that? Mike Vrabel did it oh. twice. Super Bowl 38 and 39 caught touchdown passes from Tom Brady. So the odds are 20 to 1. And the only def the only defensive now not a defensive touchdown that's happened a lot the only defensive player to score an offensive, offensive touchdown, touchdown William the Refrigerator Perry and Mike Vrabel side note Mike Vrabel has the greatest stat line in the history of the NFL I will die on this hill he's a linebacker in his career he was targeted 12 times had 12 catches for 12 touchdowns and two in the Super Bowl Hall of Famer greatest oh, oh. greatest stat line no one will ever come close Randy Moss are you 100 percent touchdowns I don't think so and I'm a linebacker so good for you Vrabel. well look let's let's stay on this for a second because the, the one that I did really well last year with on Caesar Sportsbook was a non-quarterback to throw a touchdown pass which has happened yeah. in like three out of the last four Super Bowls yeah, including the Eagles Philly special Trey Burton that's right Super Bowl 52 um, all right passing props Sp sticking with uh, touch, uh, passing touchdowns here Mahomes and Hertz are both set at over under one and a half passing touchdowns. That seems a little low to me, given the star power they have as quarterback. It seems low for Mahomes. It doesn't seem low for Hertz, and let me explain why. Uh, uh, Hertz has thrown for more than one touchdown in nine of uh, the whatever games he's played, 17, because he missed two, nine of 17 games. But he hasn't done that in his last four games played. Conversely, the Chiefs, everybody hates their secondary. Well, with all those rookies that are playing really great down the stretch, McDuffie, Cook, Watson, Williams, um, they haven't given up more than one touchdown pass in the last five games that they've played. So uh, that, to me, uh, I don't think is a, is, a, is a really low situation for Hurts. Mahomes threw for two touchdown passes on one leg with no receivers in the <laughs> AFC Championship game. I was AFC Championship game old when I learned that there was a receiver named Marcus Kemp on the Kansas City First Chiefs. First of all, you got his name right. You didn't you, get you, it right last, last week. week. It was Marcus Freeman. I gave him the pitcher uh, from Major League Baseball. But yeah, like he, and the only reason I know that because Mahomes hit him in the fourth quarter for a first down conversion. A huge try. Marcus <laughs> Kemp. A huge try. That was he. That's right. Um, so I think, I think that, and as good as the Eagles secondary is, I, I would feel comfortable that Mahomes is going to throw for two touchdowns. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of that one. And just so you guys know, the, at Caesar Sportsbook, the over is at minus 214. So obviously the Sharps also feel that way as well. The under, plus 152. Um, I don't love those odds uh, for the under at all. And Hertz on the over one and a half, minus 109. The under one and a half, minus 125. That's interesting to me because Trey makes a great point. That minus 109 actually might not be enticing enough to even take that uh, on the over there. Um, let's take a look at the um, the rushing props. Uh, you know, Kenny, Kenny's got props here. Yes, he does. All right, but we'll take a look at the rushing props. Um, Miles Sanders, the game last week, we look at the 30, not two weeks ago, the 31 to 7. Uh, NFC Championship game, that game is not reflective of what the score is because the, the, for all those points, the Eagles rushing only had 148 yards. They averaged less than four yards a carry. Miles Sanders here over under 59 and a half rushing yards. Well, um, 
They're gonna, that's for the Eagles to win, in my opinion, we can do that on our next episode, that, they're gonna need to hit that because uh, I think that Spagnola is very much aware of something that hasn't been talked about a lot. Steve Spagnola, the defense coordinator of the Chiefs, and we'll get into that in the breakdown. But uh, I believe that the Chiefs are gonna sell out to stop the run. Okay. And uh, if, if Miles Sanders can get 60 plus yards, then I think the Eagles have a really good opportunity. But I believe the number one goal for the Chiefs defense going into this game is sell out to stop the run. And I'll explain why when we get to our next segment. Yeah. Uh, real quickly, uh, the two quarterbacks have prop bets in the rushing props as well. Uh, Hurts over under 49 and a half, and Mahomes over under 20 and a half. That's an interesting number given the ankle, but given. You know, Mahomes had a couple scrambles last week that people weren't expecting out of him. Um, we'll see if that comes around real quick. I want to talk about Super Bowl MVP mm -hmm. uh, uh, odds here. Um, now, for, for Super Bowl MVP, Mahomes and Hurts seem to be the two obvious so from Mostly a quarterback given award. That's right. Now, the reason I want to bring that up is because the year that Tom Brady won it, beating the Chiefs two years ago mm -hmm. in the Super Bowl, it felt like the bar was even lowered further for a quarterback to win the award, because we would probably agree that Brady wasn't the most valuable player in that game. I think there were five defensive players that were way more valuable yeah. than Tom Brady. So is it almost like a shoe win that if you're going to place a prop bet on the Super Bowl MVP, take a quarterback? Well, let's go through the last few, right? I mean, uh, uh, it was uh, Cooper Cup last year. Yep. Uh, the year before that, it was Tom Brady. The year before that, it was Patrick Mahomes. The year before that, it was Julian Edelman. The year after that, it was Nick Foles. The year before that, it was Tom Brady. The year before that, it was uh, uh, Von Miller. The year before that, it was uh, Tom Brady. The year before that, it was Malcolm Smith. The year before that, it was Joe Flacco. The year before that, it was Eli Manning. The year before that, it was Aaron Rodgers. The year before that, it was Drew Brees. The year before that, it was Antonio Holmes. The year before that, it was Eli Manning. The year before that, it was Peyton Manning. The year before that, it was uh, Heinz Ward, who actually threw a touchdown pass. I mean, like, more often than not, you are going to get... Just so you know, yeah. that's the most impressive thing I've ever <laughs> seen you do. That was incredible. Ten Let's minutes continue. to walk and I'm an excellent driver. I'm just saying the odds are overwhelmingly stacked with the quarterback winning the MVP if, you're, if the team wins. So I think that's, a, that's why the, the numbers aren't really high on that one. But if you want to feel safe about a, a bet and winning a little scratch, then go with the Super Bowl MVP. Okay. And if you don't care what uh, Trey or I think, Kenny Main uh, for Caesars also has some, some of his own props in the Caesars Sportsbook app. Uh, he's got a quarterback with a 60-plus yard touchdown pass. Yes, plus 320. No, minus 420. That's an interesting one. And an interception to occur in the end zone. Yes, plus 1,000. Little Malcolm Butler action. There you go. Uh, and no, minus 1,800. So make sure you check that out.